Hey everybody, welcome back to Moving Matt. We do vlogs, travel, and some camera stuff. And today we are gonna be talking about when will international travel resume? If you're anything like my wife and I, you've been absolutely itching to go on your family vacation or holiday, depending on where you're watching this. So my wife is from Vietnam and we had a two month trip planned there, but it kept getting pushed back. And finally it got canceled due to the current situation. So I've been doing a whole lot of research to find out when we can go on that vacation. And I think my findings can be helpful to give our overall picture for when we can resume our international travel. So Vietnam, as far as we know, has been one of the most successful countries at dealing with the situation at hand. They had somewhere around 300 cases and no deaths, which is pretty incredible. So even though every country is gonna be a little different in their policy, I think we can extrapolate general idea for what's happening. So according to the VietnamUSEmbassy.gov, Vietnam is still restricting all travel to any foreigners and are only allowing exceptions for Vietnamese citizens. And usually that's just to relocate at home when they've been traveling abroad. They've also allowed a few diplomats in and Vietnam has just recently opened up for its domestic travel for tourism purposes. So looking more closely into that situation, I found out that the two countries that contribute the most to Vietnam's tourism industry are China and South Korea. And overall, South Korea has been another success story when dealing with this situation. And if Vietnam hasn't opened up to one of their biggest customers, even though South Korea's cases have declined substantially and stayed at a low number, I think it is a little bit too optimistic to think that the United States or UK will be able to travel to Vietnam or anywhere in Southeast Asia anytime soon. But what I have heard about that could be happening is small international travel bubbles. So first, it will happen regionally. So Vietnam is in talks now to start opening up with China and South Korea on a limited basis until they can see whether or not it's having an effect. After that, they say that they will be opening up probably to Australia next, but overall it's gonna be in that regional area with China, South Korea, possibly Thailand, and possibly Australia. So I think we can kind of start to extrapolate how it might be possible for us to start traveling back and forth between United States, Canada, Mexico, and the UK. But again, I would caution getting your hopes up too fast. In a recent interview with Fox Business, Steve Mnuchin, the Secretary of Treasury, when asked about international travel, said, quote, it's too hard to tell at this point. He went on to say, and I'm paraphrasing this part, that he hopes down the road it is possible, but for now, opening up domestic economy is the priority and that there would only be room for a few diplomatic and business trips in the near future. And later went on to say, this is a great time to see America. So with all that being said, I believe that it's likely that we won't be able to travel internationally for at least six months, possibly a year or more. That will likely come when there is very good treatment options or a vaccine. So when it comes to booking your vacation in 2020, it is probably best to set your expectations that domestic travel is gonna be your best bet. So a close beach, maybe a national park. And even though I know that sounds disappointing, and it definitely is for me because my wife and I have been so excited to go back and see her family. But America is big and beautiful and there's a lot of places to see that I haven't seen and I'm sure you haven't seen as well. So most importantly, stay safe and happy travels. And drop in the comment section below and let me know, do you have a different perspective? And when do you think travel will open back up? So be sure to give a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, peace.